Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. When I make black bean soup, I make a lot of it. I have one pound of black bean here, because I make it and then I freeze it in container. It takes a while to cook. I, I used to have a restaurant on Fifth Avenue in New York called La Potagerie. I used to do, that was one of the soap that was featured there. Part of my wife's background, Cuban and Puerto Ricans. What you do, I've done it already. You know, go through the bin this way to make sure that uh, there is no stone. I have done it here, I have another one. And uh, up, another one here, or a damaged bin. And then what I do after that, I rinse them out. I rinse this out under water. And now I have my pound of beans, two quarts of water. I may add more water later on. One quart of chicken stock. Half a cup of rice. Sometimes I use brown rice. Half a teaspoon of cumin and of chili powder. And that, of course, you can always change that. You like it, you don't like it. You want another seasoning, it's fine. This is all a question of taste. And one teaspoon of salt, I probably would have more salt later on. So that's it. As soon as it comes to a good boil, cover it, very low heat. An hour and a half, two hours. Well, I just checked the black bean soup and frankly, The beans are practically cooked, so as you see, an hour and a half there. I have that big bunch of cilantro here. What I usually do, take the top off, I keep that as a garnish. This very often I take it and I freeze it, you know, and I use it frozen, yeah, but in that case, it's fresh. That's going to go in the soup now. Sometimes I put tomato, and you can put tomato, it's perfectly fine, a can of tomato. Here I have a jar, or a can, or whatever, of hot salsa, uh, medium, so you can have it. Sometimes it's very hot, sometimes it's medium hot, and all that, it will work. Huh? I have like six, five, six cloves of garlic here. I have a leek. Maybe a little uh, too much, but I think I would have three cups here. How about three cups of leek? Couple of cups of onion. And this will have to cook for another hour. I may add a little more liquid or not, depending how thick it is, but certainly I need salt, half a teaspoon. Bring that to a boil. Again, slow it, cook for an hour. Okay, now the black bean soup is finally cooked and I think that it's too thick. I'm gonna put another couple of, uh, cup, cup and a half, depending the way you like it, uh, of a chicken stock or water, it'd be perfectly fine too. I have enough soup here for like uh, 12 people. And usually what I do, I take a couple of tablespoons of this, a couple of cups of this in the food processor or blender and put it back in there to kind of make it creamier and all that. Of course, if you have that type of machine, I can use that in there. You know, just... Yeah, that's about it. Just to give a certain creaminess to it. And as I said, I do that in container and I freeze it. You know, that's the best way to do it. But I want to show you a couple of ways that I serve it at my house. You can see it's quite thick. I'm going to do cilantro into it. One way, my wife loves it, it's with a banana. I guess in the style of uh, Cuba, I guess. Now if you 
you do banana head, you can slice your banana head. Make sure you put that with a little tablespoon of lemon juice or something like that, so that. Uh, so here, have some banana. One for me. Well, I could put a little bit of onion. Those are Vitellia type of onion, very mild. But even though when I do a lot of onion ahead like this, I rinse it under water so it prevents it from discoloring and it will stay white now. This one here, a garnish of eggs is good too. I cut the eggs one way, and then you go back the other way. And that makes a perfect egg salad, you know, when you cut it both ways this way. So I will have the garnish of eggs. In my restaurant in New York at La Potagerie, I think we served it with a garnish of eggs. Always, I serve it probably with a few drops of Tabasco on top, or you can let your guests do it. And even sometimes a dash of a bit of olive oil on top like this to give a glaze, you know. And sometimes, even a dash of vinegar. Sometimes people like a bit of acidity there. Oh, this one I leave this way. And there is, for my wife, my homemade uh, black bean soup with two interpretations of it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Happy cooking.